Five Nights at Freddy's X Roblox. Roblox is literally a game engine at this point. You can create so many things with Roblox, some more dumb than the others, but if you spend enough time on one game, you can actually achieve something good, as you've seen with DOS, for example. By the way, I uh, played that, and you can tell me in the comments if you want the video. But what happens if someone tries to make one of the biggest game franchises named Five Nights at Freddy's in Roblox? This is what I tried today. Okay, first mini game is that I found is Five Nights at Freddy's 2 Doom. Let's see. What the hell am I supposed to do? Why is Bonnie chasing me? Okay, so this game, as you can see, is not the best out there, probably. I mean, it's literally an offline Dead by Daylight simulator, and I think it doesn't need, it isn't even offline. But uh, Bonnie is trash, and he does not know that I have over a thousand hours in Dead by Daylight. So, uh, yeah, I've beat... no, never mind, he beat me, because I do not know what the fuck was happening. So, uh, yeah, I don't know what to say about this game. Uh, first, I thought you need to be in an office, but then I saw Bunny coming at me. Then I thought you need to walk around, but then I saw Bunny uh, running at me. Then I loot Bunny because, as I said, I have over a thousand hours in Dead by Daylight and it's easy. And then Chica arrived too. Wow, that's just not fair. So, uh, yeah, they caught me because idiot bunny got stuck into something and they uh, got me... He got me from basically horror when she was chasing me from behind. Okay, not the biggest hit, I'd say. Oh yeah, and the music was interesting too, I mean, just take a listen. Not even the game knows what music to play. By the way, if you are still here and you enjoyed the video, subscribe. Anyway, this is uh, a bit... Uh, this mini game let me down a bit. So uh, I saw another game that had really good potential. It was called Five Nights at Freddy's Co-op or FNAF Co-op. And because it has co-op in the title, I actually tried it with my brother. Uh, my little brother. And... Uh, yeah, this one, I mean, this one has some insane animations and it is really nice to see the animatronics in their normal form. I mean, just walking around the pizzeria was really cool, I really enjoyed that. But this one, don't get me wrong, this one is great, the aesthetics looks look insane. But this one has a flaw, so we started off with... Uh, Five Nights at this one, because, yeah, and, uh, yeah, the night one, I really liked that the night one, that the nights were uh, really close to the game, like, in night one, in the first game, in the first two hours, they can't move, and then only Bonnie can move, and so, little details like, like this are the ones that matter the most, anyway, uh, yeah, well, we beat uh, Night 1, because it was pretty easy, to be fair, I mean, in the game it is pretty easy as well. But Night 2 was where shit got real. Just take a look. 
So my job uh, was to babysit Foxy and my brother's job was to go with the doors, close the doors. And literally I closed the cameras for like 3 or 4 seconds and Foxy was already coming and uh, it came really really fast. Anyway, uh, I think I know what what's wrong with this, why this is happening. I think it's because uh, the pizzeria is so small, unlike in the game because you can actually walk around here. And uh, because it actually needs animations, she uh, he comes in really quick. A uh, fix for this, I would say, it's to like run around the dining area for a, a bit and then to actually get to your office so you have enough time to realize that it's gone. But other than that, the first Five Nights at Freddy's was really good. I really enjoyed it. Um, night 3 was actually a bit more interesting because Freddy was a threat too. But anyway, I really enjoyed Five Nights at Freddy's 1 in this FNAF co-op. Next uh, Five Nights at Freddy's was Five Nights at Freddy's 2, which it was great and all. Same same thing, it was great to see the map, the animatronics and everything, but uh, its flaws were that the mask was a bit strange, I mean, it worked a little bit strange, you can put it on and then it would take for like one second to get it off, so you couldn't do the pro strategy to instantly when closing the cams to put on your mask or something like that, but it was fine. The first night actually played out really well and uh, I did not realize much. And the second night is where things got to shit. By the way, uh, I forgot to say that uh, things would break in this game. I mean, it's really, really weird. For example, in Five Nights at Freddy's 1 in this minigame, the generator broke and I had to go fix it or whatever reason. And in this FNAF, uh, the music box broke, which was really strange, but I thought maybe it just made the puppet go a bit more crazy, but not instantly kill us. Big mistake. He killed us, anyway. But the second night I had my little brother go there and uh, camp there in case the music box broke and uh, yeah, well, uh, he died. What a shame, who would have known that being in the middle of animatronics would be such a threat. Anyway, I was in the office praying that the music box wouldn't break and uh, just look at this for a second. Well, Bonnie takes a little bit of time to get out of his damn vent, and same goes for uh, BB, I mean, look at this clip too. Okay, so uh, it takes a bit of time for Bonnie to leave as you can saw and same goes for, well, I don't fucking know what happened with BB, I, 
it didn't even take my battery so it was just there laughing at me but he was actually the one who i should have left at because he couldn't take my batteries anyway so yeah five nights Fridays 2 was pretty all right the single problem with that with it was the fact that it was really annoying to deal with the vent animatronics because they would be in attack mode Hello. and then after like 10 seconds they would actually get out of the vent but maybe I am just an idiot maybe they, there was a different mechanic and not like in uh, Five Nights Phase 2 anyway now we move on to Five Nights Phase 3 Five Nights Phase 3 was I was pretty surprised that it fo really followed the game I mean in the first night Afton literally does not exist so yeah Last night was pretty easy, we got zero dollars, an amazing zero dollars out of that night. Second night is where things again got real, I, I know second night is literally when everything gets real, but anyway, well, actually we'll see, you'll see that in Five Nights Freddy's 4, you'll see something. Now we move on to Five Nights Freddy's 4, Five Nights Freddy's 4 was pretty alright, it played good, but uh, the thing is that shit got real in the literally first night. Uh, at 2 a.m. Bonnie can move and at 3 a.m. Chica can move as well. I had the task to look at the doors while my brother had the task to look at the bed and closet. And uh, yeah, well, look at this. Yeah, Bunny literally speedrun. So yeah, uh, then we changed out the strategy. Uh, me with Bunny and the bed, and he with the closet and the chica door. So uh, yeah, that paid out okay until 3 a.m. when my brother was an idiot and he left the door when chica was. So we died because yeah. But anyway, it was enough for one day so we at least i did not play anymore uh maybe i will get back to this uh mini game because it act it was actually really good i mean just seeing just looking around in the pizzeria was really nice now that i'm editing the video i realized i might have been a bit harsh with this mini game it is a uh, Roblox mini game at the end of the day. I don't know what was I really expecting. It is really good. I mean, this is far and beyond what I could have accomplished. And uh, yeah, this mini game, if it clears out a few mistakes, then uh, it actually has potential to compete with other big mini games. For example, my little brother said that this is actually better than Door Switch. To be honest, I am not, I do not agree with him, but I mean, this minigame is really good and it's got potential. But anyway, I feel like this minigame really satisfied my everything that I wanted from a Roblox minigame. Especially in the music, I mean, the music was probably the best part about it. This music on the background is literally the game's main menu music which is insane i love this music and uh, yeah i might use this music more in my videos because it is really insane i really recommend you the mini game and uh, if you want to play final this roblox but yeah this is the video for today because it's already a bit longer than uh, my recent videos Hope you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe if you actually enjoyed it, and uh, yeah, see you next time I guess.